Science Detectives by Donna Herwick Rice. Title page. Table of contents. Contents. Page numbers. Let's find out. Scientists have been studying the world for a long time, but what they know so far is just a small part of all there is to know. Ancient Chinese scientists study a compass. Ancient Babylonian scientists study the stars. A scientist today studies a volcano. What will future scientists study? Scientists are like detectives. They find clues. They put them together to solve the case. They study with care and write every detail. They think and think some more. They test their ideas. Observe. Sir Alexander Fleming observes bread and mold. Good practices. Scientists follow good practices. This means they follow a careful way of doing things. They observe, test, and note everything they do. Here's some notes, and here's them testing some things. Tools of the trade. To be a good detective, a scientist needs the right tools. There are tools for everything but one tool is better than all the others. A scientist's brain is the most important tool there is. A scientist writes his findings on paper. Write it. Something to write with is very important. Either paper or a computer will do. Then the scientist can record what he or she sees and does. What tools can we use? A scientist types on her findings on a computer. So computer or paper works. Magnify. Many tools are used to make things look bigger. They magnify them. A thing may be too small to see well. It may be too far away. A scientist needs help to see these things, see things clearly. Magnify it. Here are some handy tools to magnify things. Magnifying glass, binoculars, microscope, telescope, gauge. Some tools can gauge things. They measure it in some way. What does it weigh? How hot is it? There is a gauge for almost anything. How fast is it? Gauge it. Here are some handy tools used to gauge things. Thermometer, digital thermometer, scale, rain gauge, barometer, Break or hold. A scientist may need to open a thing to look inside, or a scientist may need to hold a thing to study it better. Break it. Here are some handy tools to break or cut things apart. Scalpel, chisel, rock hammer. Hold it. Here are some handy tools to hold or contain things. Tweezers, Petri dish, beakers, protect. The first rule of science is to be careful. Science can be dangerous. A scientist must use care to be safe. Warning, scientists often use chemicals. Chemicals may change things. 
They may be harmful if used without care. Protect it. Here are some handy tools to protect the scientist. Goggles, gloves, apron, earmuffs. An itch for inquiry. With the right tools, a scientist is ready to go. Well, almost. There is one more thing a scientist needs. It is an itch for inquiry. Like a good detective, a scientist stays on the case until there is an answer, or until a new question pops up. What's that? To inquire is to think, study, and test. It is to dig and dig to get the answers and follow each step with logic and care. Let's do science. What can you learn about water? This is something we can do later. It gives you some steps for instructions and some materials to gather. We have a glossary of important words index of things that you can find in this book. And then we have an assignment. It says, your turn. I want to know. Sit somewhere with a notebook and a pencil. Write everything you see, hear, and smell. Write what you would like to study. Make sure you use some of the words from this book that you just learned. Use your five senses.